Nothing inspires an employee to give a truly stellar talk more than corporate HQ approved slide decks. Hello and welcome to Communication q and I'm Lauren Sergi and today we hear from Arav, who needs to find more joy in his sales presentations. Dear Lauren, I work with a sales team at a globally distributed company. My job involves giving a lot of presentations. I like speaking, but I'm really restricted on what I can do in these talks. The slide decks are created by our regional marketing department, and any changes we make require several layers of approval. Ugh. I think my presentations would be more effective and enjoyable if I personalized them. Yes, they would. But making my own slides or substantially changing the content isn't an option. Knowing these restrictions, how can I take these presentations and really make them my own, even though I'm not allowed to change much about them? Thanks for your time. Your videos have been very helpful. Arav. Thank you. I'm glad you find them helpful. Arav, your predicament with HQ approved slide decks is a common one, especially among big companies like the one you work with. These controls do have a purpose. They're intended to keep branding and messages consistent, but they can really stifle people like you who want to do more with their presentations. Happily, you don't need to fiddle with the slide deck to inject your personality into these presentations. Even when presenters are restricted with the slides they use and the overall message they deliver, you can still generally get away with layering in personal touches like stories, analogies, and unique insights or perspectives, all of which can bring a whole new dimension to your presentations and help you better connect with your audience. For unique perspectives, I want you to ask yourself this question. How do I think differently about the topics or the products or services that I present about? What experiences or views do you have that let you approach these presentations from a different angle? One that doesn't necessarily show up in the slides or scripts you've been given. Everyone has their own unique perspective and going off script every now and then to bring that into play will help you breathe your personality into your presentations without changing the core substance of the talk itself. Your unique perspective and experiences can also help you insert personal stories or creative analogies at opportune moments. Stories can help you bring technical details, datas, and specs to life when you share your own stories with an audience and personalize the experience for them and for yourself. It tells them how you would apply this information in real life and lets them into your head a little bit so that they understand how you think about this topic. It's going to boost your energy and interest and the audience will pick up on this increased enthusiasm. I also recommend drawing on unique views and perspectives to come up with interesting analogies. Do you have a hobby that you can use to explain different ideas in your presentations? Maybe there are other interests you have that help you think differently about a concept. For example, I often compare different aspects of public speaking to dance, martial arts, or other sports that I or the people that I'm working with have engaged in. I've worked with people who have drawn comparisons between computer coding and knitting patterns, engineering processes and luxury cars, even information literacy and weightlifting. Again, these are their own experiences, their own interests that they use to weave new interesting stories and analogies that can be then incorporated into those corporate approved presentations in little off scripts asides. And these work because they don't change the approved branding, the approved slides, or those stamp of approval messages that you're still expected to give out. Doing this is going to help you engage with your content in a way that's more interesting to you and will help you more effectively connect with your audience and build trust with them. After all, by letting them into your head and sharing your perspectives, you're letting them know that they're not just talking to some random cog, they're talking to Arav, a human being who cares about what you are doing and what they are experiencing, rather than just another corporate talking head. Arav, I hope this helps you bring your personality into your presentations in a way that won't ruffle any feathers at headquarters. And now, my audience, it's over to you. Do you have a unique analogy that you like to use when explaining a concept to others? Share it in the questions down below. 
If you found this video helpful, I'd be so grateful if you could click that like button so that other people can find this video more easily. Subscribe to my channel and of course, hit that notification bell for updates. And make sure that you also find your way over to laurensergi.com and sign up to get my latest resources sent straight to your inbox. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you again soon on the next communication Q&A. Thank you.